Hey guys, welcome once again to the Brothers of Steel and this week we are totally once again into Ghost Recon Wildlands. This new Rainbow Six Siege DLC is a two-part PvE mission called Operation Archangel. And though the mission is pretty straightforward, we are gonna give you some tips and some perspectives as to how to get through it faster, especially if you are a returning player. So, we got you covered. So, first things first, if you are looking for the location of this mission, it takes place in Karimanis, which is situated on the total right hand side of your map, right above La Cruz. Bowman, this is Nomad. We've got a situation. We picked up an alert signal and tracked it to a crashed vehicle. We're good to go. Surprise, asshole. Now, answer my questions, or my voice will be the last thing you hear before you visit the Great Unknown. Looks like that goes place. Let's find a way in. We have to breach. How about you let Rainbow show you how it's done? Who's got a breach charge? Ghosts prefer to do things a little quieter. So, when you reach the part where you actually have to meet up with Caveira, there is a possibility of a glitch. You have to precisely land in that area where it's indicated on the map. Otherwise, when you do walk up to her, somehow she glitches and she just stands over the guy's body and does nothing. After this, it gets really interesting. This is where you get to flex your muscle to be that heavy gunner because there are so many enemies in the area. It's like a Christmas tree. I mean, you could go stealth, but you could just go stealth for all the enemies outside. But eventually, you're gonna have to breach and go all gung ho. <laughs> so if you think that Kevera is going to help you with all that set of gun talk, think again. She's a fraud. She's just like an NPC. Just like how Sam Fisher was in the last DLC, you cannot depend on her to help you. Basically, if you die, of course, only your teammates can rescue you. She'll just leave you for dead. And the only real thing that she does is get in your way. She constantly gets in the way of a firefight. Just like how the rebels sometimes get in your way in a firefight. And I'm not sure what she is shooting it almost looks like blanks or rubber bullets she's just basically a distraction but generally once you have breached the building the objective really is to go as much as you can upstairs and when you finally find this barricade this single barricade you destroy it and then when you look for uh, a single staircase and then it will divide into two separate staircases and then you will see two doors with the two X's and it's there you will find her brother well if he's not dead i have no idea how he died probably a bullet through the wall or something oh wow anyway so it's just a matter of extraction now you go downstairs get a car helicopter whatever you feel like but don't forget guys uh stick to the mission uh don't do like me and um yeah forget Cavera. yeah wow Anyway, she moves pretty weird anyhow, just keep that in mind, right? So I was just showing this video to show some of my experiences with this new Rainbow Six Siege DLC and it has been totally fun and worth it because at the end of the day, you're gonna get Cavera's gloves, which is not a splinter cell goggles, but it's certainly still worth it. So I hope you guys totally enjoy this DLC, okay? So this is yours truly, Maximus of the Brothers of Steel. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like on our Facebook page and as always, Share up the love.